Another year, another Watches and Wonders. Today, I'm gonna to be going over what's in my on-location photography kit for the biggest watch show of the year. I'm Cat Shoulders, this is Time to Pack. Let's get into it. This is the Nomadic Peter McKinnon 18 liter Luma Collection backpack. That is a mouthful. They do not shy away from long bag names. <laughs> let's take a look at what I have on the outside of the bag. So first thing you're gonna see is the tripod. This is a tripod that I'm gonna have on location with me. And Nomadic has done something really cool. Typically, you're sticking your tripod in a water bottle holder, but what they've done is they've included a little pouch that actually pops out from underneath the bag, and you can set your tripod legs in it, and they've given you a little stretchy bungee cord that you can tie down the tripod right on top of the bag saving your water bottle holder for either a secondary tripod, a light stand, or a water bottle. Taking a look at the back of the bag, we've got a wonderful strap here. This is perfect for when I'm traveling. I can pass it through a luggage or uh, even a Pelican case when I am on set. So this is awesome. And then right up top here, if you've seen other Time to Pack videos, you have seen the Hero Clip. It has a little grip piece at the top. You can put this on a table. You can put this at the side of a bar, keep your purse, your bag, anything that you need to keep up off the floor. All right, so before we get into the goods of the inside of the bag, I wanna quickly point out there is a quick access top little pouch with a felt lining inside. These are perfect for things like your phone, your keys, your sunglasses, keeps them nice and safe. And most importantly, it's quickly accessible. So one thing that's really special about this bag, and you'll notice right off the bat, is that it's colorful. <laughs> the previous Nomadic Peter McKinnon bags were all black, which was great, nice and sleek, but I do really like that they brought four new colorways of this backpack. They've got 900D polyester material, which is very protective, maybe not as water resistant as the previous bags, but they do sell a separate rain cover if you need that. But personally, I like the look of the new colors. The whole bag is outfitted with YKK zippers, which if you know, they're the best in the business. Now, the reason I've been using these bags for years is because I love the organization that Nomadic provides. Their customability is second to none, and I love that I can change the bag to fit whatever need I have, whether it's on a shoot day or whether I'm traveling. They're perfect for my needs specifically. I love that Nomadic has partnered with us on this Time to Pack video, and um, they've lent me this bag to use during Watches and Wonders. All right, so let's dive inside the bag. This is my favorite part of the bag, by the way, the, the clamshell design. You can open it up fully. At the top of this portion, you do have a laptop sleeve. Honestly, my favorite part is I can fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro. This is becoming a lot harder to find with tech bags nowadays. So laying the bag flat here, the first call out that I'm gonna give is to the organization at the top of the bag here. If we open up the zipper, you're gonna see a couple of different pouches here. I've got iPhone chargers, I've got cables and uh, SSDs stored up here, up top. Quick access for me things that I'm gonna need on the go during the show. And then over here, I have extra batteries. A lot of people like to bring bags within bags or pouches, if you will. I like this divider system that's built in. Nomadic has this nice stretchy material so that the compartments can actually stretch as you start to pack them in really tightly, which I like. All right, so next we're gonna move on down here. Again, I have a charging brick for my MacBook, cables, and AirPod Pros when I need a disconnect from the crowd that is at Watches and Wonders. So for the inside of the bag, I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and we're gonna work our way up to the top. Again, you can see the divider system here. I've customized this to suit my needs, but I love that I can change it around. And honestly, if you're not a photographer, this is still a great bag to use. You can take all of these dividers out and stuff this with clothes, stuff it for travel needs. There's so many options you have with the divider system. So at the bottom, we have my Profoto A10 flash. This is my on-location flash kit. This is, can be used on camera, off camera. I have bought into the Profoto system a couple years ago. Honestly, I'm never gonna go back. They are a little bit more on the expensive side, but I love the quality of the flash. Uh, I've had this for two years now and it's never failed me. Right below it in sort of a stacking system here, I do have my Peak Design camera strap. This is the leash for those that are curious. So on that note, if you're curious about what's on my wrist, I am wearing the Tudor Black Bay 54. This is a watch that I spotted last year at Watches and Wonders and absolutely fell in love with and purchased one for myself shortly after. I'm very excited to see what Tudor does this year as well. So next compartment, I do have a watch pouch because 
As you know, you're changing watches throughout the day, so I like to have another watch on my carry that I can change out halfway through the day at the show. And then next I have my 100 macro Lumix lens. This is actually a new lens for me, but when I'm shooting on location at, at these type of events, I find that having a macro lens is necessary. You get those really crisp, detailed shots. Very lightweight, probably the lightest weight 100 macro I've ever experienced. So I'm excited to shoot with this at the show. And so next we have a flash trigger, a SD card holder from Think Tank, and my camera. I have the Leica SL2 with the 50 millimeter Summicron APO lens. I was able to rent this lens from Camera West not too long ago and absolutely fell in love with it. It is one of the best lenses I've ever used. I'm a nifty 50 person. This is my go-to lens for almost everything that I shoot if you're curious. This is a great spot for the camera as we have a quick access pouch here on the side. I don't typically use these a lot unless I'm on a location set where I'm shooting outside, but it's good to know I can access it quickly from this outside pouch. All right, to round it out, up top in this compartment, I keep my personal supplies. Today I have a Bellroy pencil kit. There's no pencils in here. Um, this is my emergency kit, hand sanitizer, gum, hand wipes, things like that that I need quick accessibility to. Every trip requires a different pack. This is my go-to kit for Watches and Wonders, but I'm excited to see how I'm gonna change this up as I shoot later on in the year. I am excited to actually get on the road with this bag. If you're a fan of Nomadic, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're gonna be at the Watches and Wonders show, let us know, we'd love to meet you. And if you got a trip coming up, let us know how you organize your travel kit. We're always looking for tips. I'm Kat Shoulders. Thanks for joining Time to Pack. Until next time.